of Psalms, chapter 107, verse 9. For he satisfieth the longing, the longing soul and filleth the hungry soul with goodness. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash, for allowing me to do another lesson. Yahweh is who the world innovably calls God. Yahweh Shai is his son, who the world innovably calls Jesus Christ, and there's no God beside him. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for being faithful witnesses to the Holy Spirit. Shalom wa'am to the elect. Real quick, I want to get into this lesson entitled, Give This Truth First. Because when we go into the deliverance out of this place, you know, just as in ancient Egypt, you know, it's, when you understand that deliverance, it was a great deliverance. All right. And, you know, our people were in that place catching hell. All right. There's so long if out for Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. When you go into the story, you know, Pharaoh was putting great uh, pains upon the, the, the Israelites, so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans today. Well, Salakia, the Israelites, which are the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans today. And then the Most High raised up a prophet, Moses. All right. And ultimately, after the plagues that he brought upon that place, he brought Israel out of there. So as Israel, which are mourning to this very day, you know, we don't, with Salaki, whereas Israel, which is mourning to this very day, Yahweh Shimei Awashai already raised up the prophets. And soon enough, he's going to get us out of this hell. You know, and um, hey, Yahweh Shimei Awashai words shall stand. All right. Yahweh Shimei Awashai words shall stand. And everybody else is going to fade away. All right. Such as sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, being bound in affliction and iron. Salakia. Let me start at uh, Psalms 107. And five. Hungry and thirsty, the soul fainted in them. Then they cried unto Yahweh in their trouble, and he delivered them out of their distress. Our distress at that time was Pharaoh, all right? And our distress at this time is um, this American hegemony, all right? Which, Lord willing, I'm going to do another lesson right on that after this, going into how this place is, is, is paying for us. All right. Case in point, you work your ass off just to, uh, which, you know, we're grateful to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah for a roof over our head. Shelter, rather. Same thing. You know, however, the point still stands to where you work your ass off to hold up a portion. You know, like, for example, say you got a, you don't, say, say you're a brother that lives in a con, uh, uh um, a one bedroom apartment. Uh, you gotta pay fifteen hundred a month. You working your ass off to pay for a morsel, a small morsel of. Let me put it like that. You working your ass off to pay for a small morsel, you know, of uh, not even a plot of land. You don't even hold own the whole building. You own a small morsel of that building. You know? So just, just to put it in perspective of how low we are to this very day. You know? And even if you got a house, it's still a, it's a little bit better. But really, it's, it ain't shit. You know? Because we're waiting for the most how to bless us with planets. You know? Fuck us. We got to... At this point, we're struggling to hold on to a small more so of land, you know, or even a, a, a apartment in that small more so of land, you know. However, you know, in the kingdom, we're going to receive everything, man. We're going to receive planets, galaxies, you know. But reading on, 
It says, Hungry and thirsty, their soul fainted in them. Then they cried unto Yahweh in their trouble, and he delivered them out of their distress. All right? And we cry unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai now, by praying, by reading, all right? Looking into the acts of old and seeing how the Lord is going to come through for us. All right? And he led them forth by the right way that they might go to a city of habitation. All right? And the whole time as he was leading us, you know, he didn't just, you know, the most high made it plain for us, you know. He gave us prophets, uh, 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 Moses, Joshua, Caleb, that led us by the right way. All that men would praise Yahweh for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. Right? And that's what we go do when we go out there on the highways and hedges, you know, which is, this is so very important. For he satisfied the longing soul, which that word longing, meaning to run, run about, rush, run to and fro, be eager or greedy or thirsty. You know? And, um, you know, our people are thirsty. They don't know what's happening. They don't know, you know, basically from day to day, um, it's pain in this place. And for the majority of our people, they don't know why. You know, they think in a, you know, uh, a dying society can save them. So they're thirsty. For he's satisfying a longing soul, whether they know it or not, they're thirsty. All right? And we long for, for righteousness, you know? And fill up the hungry soul with goodness. Right? So how about Shem Yahweh Shah is filling us with goodness. He's filling us with this truth. Right, you know, um, hey, that's that's good enough. You know, this is that that um, as the Lord, you know, did 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 to us in ancient Egypt. He gave us that manna from heaven, which other scriptures call it uh, uh, angels' food. All right, so this is that he this is that manna from heaven. It's this under this word, but not only this word, the understanding of this word. Right, and um. The scriptures speak about how this word shall stand. Let me grab that actually. Proverbs chapter 12. I think it's 12 and 19. Yep. This is the lip of truth shall be established forever. You know? So here it is for a portion of time. This devil is able to rule. And as the scriptures say in Proverbs 20, you know, he was loose for a little season and he deceived the world. However, just like any kingdom, the Most High raised up his prophets, and through him raising up his prophets, his prophets telling the people to repent, the people repented, and the Most High brought us out of that situation. That's how the Lord is going to do with us, all right? And this whole process is written time and time again in the, in, in the words of the Lord. So it says, the lip of truth shall be established forever. But a lying tongue is but for a moment. Right? That's why we gotta get this truth first. Knowing that after this after this world, guess what? This truth shall stand. As a matter of fact, there's prophecies in the scriptures that tell us that tell us so. Alright? The scriptures speak of in Revelation 18, Isaiah 60, Isaiah 49. What's gonna happen after the fall of captivity, after the fall of Babylon? Right? This is um laying back and on how this this word is gonna last forever. First Peter's one and twenty five. First Peter's one and twenty four. For all flesh is as grass, and the glory of man as the flower of the grass. The grass withereth, the flower thereof fit falleth away. But the word of Yahweh endureth forever. You know. And as we go into the scriptures, like the Lord told Daniel, that his word, um, going to the time of the end, where he will wake him up, basically. All right? So basically going into how the word of Yahweh is stored up within the prophets. So if the word endure forever, that also means that the prophets shall endure forever. And this is the word which by the gospel is preached unto you through the prophets. 
all right through that arc all right this is the book of um is that proverbs go back to proverbs now Proverbs 11, it's lock it. Proverbs 12 and 11, I ended off here. He that tilleth his land shall be satisfied with bread, but he that followeth vain persons is void of understanding. You know, well actually, you know what, I wanna, I wanna land back off of that scripture. All right, he that tilleth his land, meaning again, going into the title of this lesson, get this truth first. You should be satisfied with bread, you know? And um, that's spiritually first and foremost, all right, because the, the, the bread, um, you know, the scriptures call this, this word, what is it, the bread of life? Let me see if I can grab that. Like Yahweh Shah said, labor not for the, the meat that perisheth, all right? And, um, you know, we see that when you look in the news, this, 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 this bread, all right, that is... You know what I'm saying? That is um can be manipulated by the devil. Alright, it is is uh wailing. But this truth, as we go on the highways and hedges, I believe the brother uh Shawab Amawan was going into that yesterday in his lesson. How this truth is flourishing. You know, brothers is doing more and more lessons, you know, brothers' understanding is increasing. Alright, because we're tilling our ground. We 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 going um, you know. We're putting our, our, our minds into this truth. But um, I forgot what precept I was going to bring up. But anyway, let's go to Psalms 119 and uh, Again, a uh, block right now. I forgot what I was going to bring up, you know. But um, I probably just ended there anyway. I suppose it was really going to be a quick hit, you know. Just going into getting this truth first, you know. So if that shalom to the elect.